Yo, what up, everybody? Carbo Moses, would you welcome? Uh, it's time to do our last eBay break of the night. We have 2018 score football half case break number nine. So let's get that popping here. So a half caser, that means I am doing six boxes. Luckily for me, the packs in this are pretty fat. So I won't take that long going through them. But I do need top loaders, so I'm going to go grab those real quick. Boop. Let me knock this out. All right. I want. I wonder what happened on Monday Night Raw tonight. I missed it, but I'll catch the recap later. Big old packs. And let's see what we got. I have opened up all the boxes. Now to open the packs. So not that many pack. Well, not that many packs to open. Ten packs per box. But so many base cards. Juan Soto is the youngest player in franchise history to hit a home run for the Nationals. That must be awesome for the young fella.
Come on. I've opened up two boxes worth of packs so far. You already know, Devin. The hustle most definitely real. What's up with you, man? Dude, the packs are huge. Packs are freaking huge in this. That's what she said. Uh, you hit up the McDonald's for a double quarter pounder and some fries. And you can't forget the Diet Coke. <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. You're doing all that damage, but oh, please, please, Diet Coke. Please, Diet Coke. That double extra large Diet Coke with extra high fruit coke corn, high fructose corn syrup. with a side of MSG, please, please and thank you. Man, you guys, damn! I see Panini points in there. That sucks. But you guys don't have like any local joints. Like local diners that are open 24-7. Aside from Denny's. I know Denny's. Denny's and IHOPs are just everywhere. Everywhere in this country. But of course there are the local joints. You know. That only the people that live there know about it. Like we have this. Uh, and it's, it's, uh, it's a franchise down here in South Florida. Uh, we have them pretty much like in every major part of Miami. Uh, it's called Pinecrest Bakery, and it's exactly what you think it is. It's a bakery, so they sell sweets and things like that, but they also have like a full-on menu where you can order breakfast sandwiches. They got all types of sandwiches, and you can get like full-on meals, like a steak dinner and things like that, and it's open 24-7, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. I have one down the road here from the office. I go there sometimes. You know, when I don't when I don't want to like eat McDonald's or whatever, I just go to the bakery and I and I order some order some stew. Plus, they have Coca Cola bottle bottles, uh, glass bottles, and for me, Coca Cola tastes amazing coming out of a glass bottle. I don't know what it is, but it just tastes way better. So, dang, Devin, you don't have any local diners open 24-7? I mean, I know you got a Denny's. I know you got a Denny's. Everybody got a Denny's. box with a package. Oh, no, for sure. Yeah, if there's a Denny's but Mickey D's is closer, pff, it's all about them logistics, dog.
You got IHOP but no Denny's. Well, IHOP and Denny's are pretty much tomato tomato kind of deal. For those of you guys that are watching, any of you guys live in Cleveland, Ohio? Or maybe going to the National in Cleveland, Ohio? Because I could sure use pointers as to like local spots that got some good grub. That's like my thing. You know, whenever I'm somewhere new, like a new town, a new state, whatever, I try to visit like local spots that are there good. Yeah, Aussie Jim. Mickey D's are everywhere. And I do mean everywhere. I'm sure there's a, I'm sure there's one in Antarctica. Serving up uh, McRibs year long. Alright. Let's see what we got here. I've opened up all these packs. Time to see what we got. Good luck, y'all. So we have Dallas Goldert. Four out of six. Autograph. I think he goes to the Eagles. Not sure. Got to look at the checklist. I think I see like a gold back there. Oh, that's probably what that was. JK... You just go out, smack a kangaroo, and slap it on the bobby. That's what y'all call barbecue, right? Just, just call it Barbie. What do we have here? Denzel Ward, the fourth pick in the draft. That goes to the Browns, if I'm not mistaken. I would love... Oh, by the way, Jim, how far are you from Sydney, Australia? How far are you from Sydney, Australia? In case I go pay a visit one of these days. I want, uh, you know, I want to... One, I want to hang out with my boy Jimmy. It's a 10-hour drive? Holy crap. So that's what, like a two, three-hour flight? Just take Spirit Airlines. I don't know if Spirit Airlines is out there in Australia, though. An hour and a half flight? Oh, that's not too bad. How much is it by kangaroo back? <laughs> I'm kidding. Dude, I want to visit Australia so bad. With my luck, though, I'll probably get attacked by, by a drop bear... All the poisonous snakes and spiders as soon as I touch down. Australia is a is a crazy co uh, continent. I've seen many a documentary on uh, on Australia, and it's a crazy place to live. So Jim, if I go to Australia and I, and I only have time to do one thing, what is the one thing I should do? I did, Devin. I did see that. We have Tavin Bryan, 9 out of 20 for the Gators. I did see that dude that punched that, that kangaroo. The kangaroo was looking at him like, huh? I was just, I was just wrestling with the dog. He had that dog in a, in a clean chokehold. The bar the Barrier Reef. That sounds pretty cool. It also sounds like I don't have access to it. Like I can't just go swimming there if I wanted to. We have for the Texans number 38 out of 50, Dante Foreman. 
The Barrier Reef, huh? Gotta check that out. What do we have here? Our third autograph for Naheem Hines out of NC State. If you're wondering, well, what's his pro team? GroupBreakChecklist.com. That is what we will use to check and make sure that uh, they go where they belong. Now, of course, there are certain players that aren't drafted and don't belong to any team. I'll run a random for those spots, if there are any, at the end of the break. Just in case. 35 out of 35, Cameron Meredith for the Bears. The Great Barrier Reef, largest organism in the world. I knew that. Unlike the Great Wall of China, you can actually see it from space. Huh? That I did not know. I thought you could. I thought you could. I thought you could see the Great Wall of China from space. Hashtag fake news. I did know that the Great Barrier Reef was the largest organism in the world, though. I didn't know you could see it from space. That's pretty cool. But if I go to Australia, I got to have me some shrimp on the barbie. I would love to visit the Great Wall of China, too. Number 9 out of 35, Benny Fowler, Broncos. About a two hour boat ride to the reef. Nice. Dude, I love I love the water and all that stuff. Marcus Allen with an autograph. Matter of fact, let me separate my uh base from my numbers. You paid an extra ninety dollars for a marine biologist snorkeling tour away from the main group. Nice. Man, last time I went snorkeling was on a cruise a couple years ago. Uh, I think we were in the Turks and Caicos. Went snorkeling and uh, there was like a like a little barrier reef where we were at, so that was kind of cool. I was swimming with turtles, swimming with some fishes. It was it was pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Terrell Suggs, two out of fifty for the Ravens. You found Nemo. Oh, that's adorable. Where the big time autos at? Sam Hubbard, autograph out of Ohio State. No sharks though, was disappointed. Yeah, I would be relieved. You trying to see some, some sharks? Man, heck no. I don't play that. Nope, no. Speaking of sharks, they got this new movie coming out. Uh, forgot the name of it. But it looks like Jaws 5.0. Leighton Vander Ish. I believe that goes to the Cowboys. Reef Sharks are... Uh, you're bigger than them? I mean, you're still a, you're still a human being. And, uh, you know, even if you are bigger than the shark, that's still a pretty big shark. I 
play with them sharks. Uh-uh. No siree, Bob. But I think the name of the movie is called Me Me uh, Megalodon. Jason, Jason Statham's in it. It seems pretty cool. It's like Jaws, except with a huge prehistoric shark. Number 10 out of 10, Christian Kirk. I think Christian Kirk plays for the Cardinals. Or I should say got drafted by the Cardinals. We have Anthony Miller, one out of six. Autograph out of Memphis. Not sure what his pro team is. He could be undrafted. I'm not sure, but there it is. <coughs> Excuse me. We got a red zone. Number 15 out of 20, Travis Kelsey, Chiefs. Chris Godwin, four out of six for the books. Need a big name here. A little one on one mojo would be awesome. That's my boy, Mark Walton, out of Miami, baby. Oh, that's what it's called, the Meg. Yeah, I, sh I should have known. Short for Megalodon. Ain't no way they're going to call a movie Megalodon. Way too many uh, syllables for, for the average human. Jason did a two-box break last night of elite draft picks and not one numbered auto. Damn, that's not cool. Mark Walton autograph out the U. He is a Bengal, and he's going to be a stud. I'm telling you. People sleeping on that kid. But before he got hurt last year, he was the best running back in the in, in the nation, in my opinion. Of course, I'm biased as a Miami fan. There's a few good movies I'm, I'm looking forward to this year. The, the Venom movie looks pretty badass. Uh, the Ant-Man movie looks pretty cool. And Jurassic Park, I think, also comes out this year, too. That movie looks pretty badass. We have Auden Tate. 32 out of 50. Oh, there's also the new Predator movie coming out too. Yeah, I saw. I was I was watching the trailer for. I was watching Deadpool two last night, and the trailer came out, and they're like, they're they're doing human Predator hybrids. Huh? I don't know how I feel about that. Which reminds me, I wanna I wanna rewatch the original Predator, the first Predator, where they're in the jungle and whatnot. That movie is in my opinion very underrated they don't make movies like that no more one out of six Doug Martin bucks
Oh, Panini points. Got to random those. 400 Panini points. That's not the last of them. I promise you that. How you doing, Anubis? Appreciate you guys hanging out with me so late. It's 3 o'clock, 3.30. About to be 4 in the morning Eastern Time over here. Which is nothing new for me. But for those of y'all, man, kudos. Dallas Goddard, the autograph. I think that goes to Eagles. The key word is, I think. Well, those are two words. So, key words are, I think. Another Leighton Van Der Aish autograph. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. That goes to the Cowboys. They got instant replay in the MLS. Oh man. We have a gold Robert Woods. 7 out of 50 for the Rams. Alright, we're halfway through this thing. Three more boxes to go through. I think I see a gold back there. What is it? It's a gold 37 out of 50 Anthony Barr for the Vikings. They're in post production for Avengers Infinity Wars 2, which it comes out, it's supposed to come out next year, ain't it, Anubis? By the way, if you haven't seen Deadpool 2, you need to go watch that. Pretty good movie. And Domino is so fine. Oh, my God. Panini points. 150 of them. You saw them right there. We'll random that later. Oh, dude, I'm not giving you no spoilers on Deadpool. Well, I'm not going to do that. But you definitely need to go watch it. Unless you're a minor, then then watch it with, an, with, a, with a consenting adult. Because it is rated R, not for kids. Numbered 14 out of 35, Calvin Ridley. Chicka wow wow We got Dante Pettis auto numbered six out of thirty five. Out of Washington. Alright. A little color auto. Can we get a Baker or a Saquon or a Sam Darnold or something massive? Please. What do we have here? Harold Landry. The autograph. 
out of Boston College. What's up, Steven? You just got home from drinking. <laughs> Dude, it's Monday, and you're drinking on a Monday? Damn, Steven, far be it for me to tell you how to live your life, dog, but uh, you might have a problem. Although you don't seem too messed up, you, you know, you typed it. You typed that, uh, that pretty decent there. Got Josh added autograph, who I think is an eagle. I'm not, I'm not sure. But there is the auto. see a gold back there it is number 31 out of 50 Chase Litton nah you'll be alright Stephen you'll be alright you're grown man you'll be alright but you went out to watch the Celtics and yeah they they, they lost I mean they made, a, they made a nice little comeback effort but too little, too late. So where where'd you go, Stephen? Where you first, matter of fact, where'd you go out? Are you in the Boston area, or, or what? For the Vikings, number five out of thirty-five, Adam Thielen. We have Jalen Samuels autograph number eight out of thirty five. Repping that NC State. would be pretty sick what do we have here Ronald Jones auto number two out of six that's pretty sweet you're from New Bedford which is like 50 minutes from Boston give or take the traffic word oh so you're still oh you're still on the eastern side of the of the of the, the Union so what time do bars close uh, usually close uh, out, out there in Massachusetts If you want to go, if you want to go drinking at the bar, at the bar, that's that's as good as my Bostonian accent is gonna get. So what time does the bar close? Robert Kelly, seven out of fifty for the Redskins. Number to fifty, Tyler Eifert, Bengals. What up, Jim? Uh, I think my response was, "Oh." <laughs> I think I actually verbatim. I think my response was, "Oh, that sucks." I think that's what I said. Something, something to that degree. We have Michael Gallup autograph. They usually close at two in your. Oh no! Oh no! Let 
man, that sucks. Two o'clock in the morning, man. That's what time Flanagan's closes out here. Dang, man. I got bro. We got bars that close at five, six in the morning out here in Miami. I guess I'm. I guess I'm spoiled. I don't know. You know, because anytime I ask anybody like from somewhere else, that's not like Los Angeles or New York. That's usually the case. Like, you know, the ball of the bar closes at 1, 2 in the morning. And then there's, like, nothing else to do. I'm like, what? 600 Panini points, so we got to random that. Make that breakfast, man. Pack, I pack the car and have a yard. Uh, anyways. What I was actually I was asking people in the chat earlier. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have Denny's and IHOPs out there in Massachusetts. But do you have like any like little mom and pop shops that are open 24/7, like a little diner or something you can go to when you're plastered at like four in the four or five in the morning? Cousin, your cousin lives in Orlando, and when I went there. To hang out, it was awesome. Tell me about it. And that's Orlando. And that's Orlando. Wait till you visit your uncle in Miami. I'm your uncle in Miami, by the way, Uncle Jesse. So wait till you visit your uncle in Miami. You, you had a good time in Orlando? Ha <laughs> Come to Miami. Rashawn Evans, 15 out of 50 for the... Uh, I think he got drafted. I forget by who. Well, I know he got drafted. I just don't know who. I want to say Bears, maybe? Orlando's a lot of fun, though. There's a lot of stuff to do in Orlando. Um, Tampa's pretty fun. Daytona Beach is pretty fun. But there's no place like home. Ain't no place like Miami. Miami's a wild place to live at. What do we have here? We got Cameron Petway with the autograph. You had a place, nothing like Denny's though. That's fine. At least you got like a little, a little local spot where you, you know, you get tired of having moons over my hammy or the slam burger or whatever. You know, just go visit that little spot. You know, I was telling the the peeps earlier. Uh, we have a few spots here in Miami. Uh, it's like a bakery kind of deal, but they they sell like full on like meals out there. We have uh, Jimmy Graham to 35 Seahawks. You drove to Miami in 24 hours? Like nonstop? Yeah, you crazy for that one. Number 12 out of 20, I have Malik Hooker, Colts. Oh, you had your first Sonics? Not nice, nice. You guys don't have Sonics in Massachusetts, really? Huh? Damn, dude, that's a hell of a trip. I damn, I should probably do something like that in my in my car. Uh, Richard visited your aunt in Cape Coral, Florida. That's another, you know, how, how is that pronounced? Is it aunt or aunt? Always wondered that. Anyway, about a month ago, love Fort Myers, Cape Coral area. No good card shop, so you had to buy two cards at Target when you... <laughs> Dang, Richard! No matter where you go, the fo the hobby follows. Quite the mistress, ain't you? Ha ha! Clinton Dix to 50 for the... Uh, for the Packers. Man, shame, man. To name that guy, ha ha. Wow. I really hope that's not his name. Like that guy for the Cowboys, Taco. I know that's not his name. But that's his nickname. But they still print it on a card, which is kind of crazy. Anyway, Jester Week. Numbered one out of six out of Pittsburgh. Closest Sonic to you is in about 25 minutes. 
yeah, same here. You know, we uh, we do have Sonics here in Miami, but at least where I live, it's not like readily accessible. Uh, I mean, shoot, we just we just recently got our first. Uh, what's it called, man? What's this? Speaking of diners, it's, it's the Waffle House. We got our first Waffle House here uh, in the in the Miami Dade County. It's still pretty far from my house, but we got our first ever Waffle House, which is a big deal to me because I freaking love Waffle House. Yeah, the service is terrible. The people suck. But, man, the food is always great. But, yeah, Sonics is pretty awesome. I like uh, I like their blasters. They're like ice cream blasters or like their little their shakes. Like they have these shakes. Well, they're not really shakes. They're kind of like slushies. With, like, the nerds in them. Oh, fire. The 35 on a Humphrey Ravens. Sonics is very underrated. Sonics is extremely underrated. But I miss, man, I miss Whataburger. When I used to live in Orlando. There, there was a Whataburger there. There was a Crystals. Crystals would be, like, a knockoff version of White Castle. Some would say it's, it's a better version of White Castle. You don't know any Waffle House next to me? Pretty sure we don't have anything close. Yeah, Waffle House is, for me, is where it's at. I love Waffle House. It's a little ghetto. Okay, it's a lot ghetto. But that's right up my alley. That's right up my alley. Give me some of your tots. Napoleon, give me some of your tots. Get your own! Freaking love that movie. I wish they made a sequel to it. Napoleon Dynamite 2. More Panini points. Jeez Louise. <sighs> Panini points take place, uh, take the place of an autograph. And that's why I don't like them. I mean, you can get some really cool stuff with them. Don't get me wrong. I would just much rather see an autograph. That's me personally. Kurt Bankert. Autograph Rahur. That's trash. Mm. Number to fifty, Jaleel Scott. I think we can all agree breakfast foods are like the best foods. Like I can have breakfast any time of the day. Like I can have breakfast for lunch and dinner. No problem. With a smile on my face. Like my mom has this like she has this cute little joke. Like since I sleep during the day and cuz I work overnight or whatever. You know, I wake up and I'm in the kitchen, like, cooking or whatever. She's like, you making breakfast? And it's, like, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> like, yep, making breakfast. Deshaun Hand autograph. Well, that's what I'm doing right now, Steven. I'll do the recap here in a second. 15 blaster boxes while you were on vacation? My, dude, you got a problem. And that's why I'm here. I'm the medicine. Alright, did I go through this stack? I don't think I did. No, I definitely did not. To 35, Eli Apple, Giants. Uh, 
Alrighty, and that's the break. So, before I recap the uh, autos and whatnot, there is a little thing I gotta do. Uh, I gotta random a, a few things. So I'm gonna do that here in a second. Uh, but before I do that, we gotta roll the die here. Let's roll that. See what we get here in this roll. So number one, well that's not fun. The so number five, that's better. One plus five, it's six. So let's go six. Now, in the event that one of these players is undrafted and does not have a team designated to him, that's what this random is about right here. If there are any teams, or I should say, if there are any uh, autographs here that don't have uh, a team designated to them via the checklist, that means they went undrafted, don't have a team, so they got to go to somebody, right? So that's what this is here for. I have all the teams here. I'm going to roll it six times. Whatever the team is, we'll be receiving the undrafted, no team assignment te uh, players. Here we go. Good luck. That's twice. Three, four, five, maybe. Check it out. Check it out. It's a little weird, but... Mm, it's not that weird. You just got to read. And the money shot six. Boom. So Texans will be receiving any undrafted players that are not designated a team. Because if you look at the checklist, you'll notice they do have undrafted players. But they do have a team designated to them. All right, so the undrafted players go to the Texans. All right, so there's that. Now... All right, uh, J uh, Richard, have a good one, my man. Appreciate you hanging out as long as you have. And just appreciate you hanging out, period, man. My favorite house husband. All right. Now, uh, that was the randomizer for the undrafted peeps. Now for Panini points. All right. So, I have 600 Panini points. I have 400. I have 150 and another 150. <coughs> so, it's going to go to the first four spots. Spot number one gets 600. Spot number two gets 400. Spots three and four get 150 each. Good luck. We won six times. Any day now. Two, three, four, five, and the money shot six. Boom. So the Titans will be receiving. 600 Panini points. The Jaguars will be receiving 400 Panini points. And the Seahawks and Giants will be receiving 150 Panini points each. Boom. So there's that. <clears throat> Now, the recap. Autos only, you know how we do. So we have Deshaun Hand, Kurt Benkert, Cameron Petway, Michael Gallup, Josh Adams, Harold Landry, Leighton Van Der Aish, Dallas Godert, Mark Walton, <coughs> Leighton Van Der Aish, Sam Hubbard, 
Marcus Allen, Naheem Hines, Denzel Ward, Jalen Samuels, Dante Pettis, Anthony Miller, Dallas Goddard, Ronald Jones, and Jester Week. And that was the break. 2018 score football, half case number nine, eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get it out.